Perf the Caster here, and we are at Guitar Summit in Mannheim, Germany. And I am here at the STS Guitars booth, and with me is the creator, founder, builder of these wonderful guitars, Jonas. Hi, everyone. Hey, Jonas. How's it going? Good. Nice to have you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. So, tell us a little bit about uh, your mission and, and these instruments, these guitars. Yeah. So, generally, the idea, I'm a guitar player for over 20 years, so I know my way around the guitar, I know what I like and dislike, and at one point in time I discovered this pattern that you see everywhere on my booth and the guitars. Okay. And what I said was like, huh, maybe I can just redo it and look at it. And the moment I redid it just out of pure fun, I said, man, this has to be a guitar top. Okay. Yeah. And that started the whole design idea, what do I like about all my different guitars that I own, what are the features that are relevant, why do people like this or that. I thought about everything long and hard mm -hmm. and came up with some designs of mm -hmm. a guitar. Mm -hmm. And in the end they turned out beautiful, people love them. And um, other than being a guitar that is a little bit different, I try to dictate the name as well, STS Guitars, okay. just means sound through sustainability. Okay. That's how I want to achieve, that's my, my core values. Okay. So when I do this, I don't do this for any customer, it's not a marketing trick or anything. Mm -hmm. It's just like when I build a guitar, I want it to be like this. So it's as sustainable as possible. Yes. Yeah, so high quality, so it's long lasting. Mm -hmm using local stuff, local woods, and um, yeah, local components where possible. Yes. Sometimes that's really a tough job, but I can yes. get most of it uh, from around here, mm -hmm. or Europe at least. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so that was then all the ingredients for the, what is in my opinion, a really beautiful and nice playing high-end instrument. Yes, and, and it shows in the little details like the bolts, yeah. right? The bolts. There's no wooden screw on this instrument. Mm -hmm. Not on the um, tuners. tuners, not on the neck, not on the back plate, not on the pickups, nowhere. So I can disassemble it as many times as I want mm -hmm. to rework it if somebody wants that. You yeah. know? There are, um, you have to at one point. These are stainless steel frets, but there might be in 10 years from a hard player be worn out anyway. Yeah. So. Um, you have to be able to re rework stuff. Right, right. But the moment I take it apart with wooden screws, mm -hmm. it's a hard time getting it all together yes. again. Yes. One time, you might be lucky. Second time, <laughs> try yeah. to fix whatever goes yeah. wrong. And um, yeah, I know when the screws are tight, everything. So there's a benefit in, in that. Yes, yeah. uh, all the parts are coupled very solidly. Yes, yes. 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 The, the sound transition is better yes. uh, as well, yeah. And um, because I also know, you know, when the uh, screw is tight, a wooden screw, could it be tighter? If I try too often, okay. it's yeah, loose yeah. again, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, why should I rework it as well? I mean, there's only, a, only it's an oil finish on here. I, I see. built several layers, seven, eight, nine layers, depending on what you want to achieve as a look mm -hmm. and how heavy the use will be. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. I can tailor that as well into uh, the personal instrument of someone. Okay. And um, yeah, I can rework the oil finish. It's just like you can touch up nitro finish. If it's right. just an easy finish, right. it, it blends in perfectly. Or a uh, French polish. Yes, right? exactly. Yeah. And the oil finish layered up, I can rework it to a right. new state as often as I want. Right. And also for, uh, for those uninitiated, um, if you use wood screws directly on the wood that wears out. So these have inserts, steel exactly. inserts, right? Uh, um, brass. Brass inserts. Yes. Embedded in the wood so that these bolts have something very solid to uh, latch onto. Yes. And you can tighten it and it can be as tight and as stable and as secure as you want. Exactly. And, yeah. Okay, now let, uh, t tell me about the different models. Okay, so starting this guitar summit, I have three and a half models. Okay. <laughs> Three and a half. The, the half which we'll talk about. Okay. So this was the very first uh, model that I came up with because I just love power strat, so to say. Right. Yeah, just a bit different shape. Uh, made sure that you can access 24. You could access 27 frets if there were any, but yeah. And I just wanted to make sure, man, this is in no way hindering your performance. Well, yeah? if, if you put 27 frets, then the guitar player starts losing money because <laughs> you, you don't make money here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you make money. You make money here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can remove all the frets. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Um, so this is the, and the model is called Tomo, the Japanese. Tomo. Everything is kind of Japanese inspired. Okay. The pattern is uh, a traditional Japanese pattern you find on kimono or right. in, in other crafts. The papers, right? Yes, and um, the, um, the kumiko, the, uh, the wall style okay. stuff that they do. This pattern is called Asanoha. It's a hemp um, leaf or hemp blossom okay. uh, pattern. It just means longevity and um, uh, yeah. Stuff yeah let, that is let me grab positive. that other guitar so yeah. it's it's more obvious. Hold on, this is it. Yeah, beautiful. Yes, and and uh, this is made by inlaying different colored woods. Yes, it's a mosaic. So you piece mm. it together. Mm -hmm. Uh, from these small triangular pieces. I have my way to make sure that it is uh, a process that I can repeat and it's not, uh, so I can not mass produce it, but it's easier to just, I don't sit with pliers and put triangle next to triangle. Right. I do a block like the Japanese woodcraft do it. Right. And then I um, take uh, strips off of it and layer them to the I top. See. So it's a, Guitar top, as you would expect it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, four to five mil. You can even go thicker if yeah. this is something you really want. But the guitars are thinner than normal, especially in the side profile. You see that they are rather slim. Yes. And that is because of the local hardwoods. Okay. I had to get the weight right. Yes. And this feels like a normal. It, do, when it you does. Pick it does feel up. like. Although it's heavy, sturdy, and robust woods. Right. Yeah. And I, I like the I like the drop top. Yeah. Because usually, like, uh, sometimes p makers put the tops on and then they sand the bevel mm. and then you lose the top. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, this is made in the process where it's uh, glued on. Then I do the chamfer, mm -hmm. the comfort cuff, and then I apply the rest of the pattern. Okay, very good. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> and then for your neck, it's mul multi laminate always? Uh, what, you, what you want. Um, there are other ones. This is a one-piece maple neck. Okay. Um, if I go one piece, uh, it should be quarter sewn mm -hmm. for stability. Um, but you can get whatever you want. Yeah. And, uh, and the body is quarter sewn too. Yes. Usually. Because, yeah, yeah. I uh, because I have to follow certain rules because of the body's thickness. Thickness. Yes. So it's quarter sewn is more stable. In that case, I have to use it because of uh, I have to multi-piece it. You're it's right. always most of the times it's three pieces. Right. Just right. Uh, purely availability of. Right. Ash, yeah. European ash. Yeah. And, and less less uh, wood waste as well as you're milling it, as processing it. Correct, yeah. yeah. Did you mention the model name of this already? Tomo. Tomo, okay. Tomo is a, a Japanese abbreviation, but kind of means friend and yeah. so. Tomo Fujita. <laughs> <laughs> that is, it can be a first name as well. Okay. Yeah. But okay. Um, Tomodachi would be the first name. Tomodachi, but yes. Some, sometimes they abbreviate it just Tomo. Tomo, okay. Tomo, yeah. Okay. And, uh, that's, where I, hey, you pick it up, you somehow feel it at home, you know? Yes. It's like, it's nothing too different except for maybe a flashy top. Yeah. I round over the fretboard as if you would have played it for 30 years already, okay. yeah? Okay. So no hard edges, no nothing. The fret job, try to round it over as, as nicely as possible and uh, make it feel really comfortable, like, okay. you know? Hey yeah. man, old this friend. has been an, yeah, an old friend, yeah. a, a guitar well played for years, yes. but it's new. Yes. Yeah. And then uh, for the pickup configuration, is this your go-to uh, humbucker with I, the P90? I like it because of the different sounds I can get. Okay. But uh, you can choose whatever uh, pickup configuration you want in the end. Okay. May you be an, uh, a Strat player or may you be a Teller guy. We can work our way through the uh, different range of pickups. Okay. They can be chosen yeah. in uh, whatever configuration one desires. Yes. Yeah. Okay, now let's uh, check out your second model. Yes. Second model, Okita. Okita. Okay. Again Japanese. Okita was a, a famous Japanese beauty in the Kansai era. She was a waitress at a tea house. Okay. And many woodprint uh, block artists uh, uh, painted or made uh, pictures of her. Mm -hmm. And you know like these old wood block print women, they kind of look like round and, and stuff. And, yeah, yeah, flowing. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, and this is kind of, you know, the kind of offset and stuff, so it kind I, of matches, and it's a beauty, and I, I think this is a beauty as well. Yes, it is. it is. And that's why the name is uh, Okita. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what is the main differences between the Okita and the Tomo? Yes, except for the shape, mm -hmm. I chose different scale lengths. Okay. I, I tailored these to be more like huh, somebody who uh, may tend to play more classic guitar designs, okay. vin vintage, vintage guitar chic. design, uh, 22 frets, 
a shorter scale length than your fender scale length. I uh, do only regular millimeter scale length. Okay. So I have no idea what inches that is, but this is 640 mil. Okay. It is between PRS and Fender. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. It is common for uh, some classical guitars. Classical guitars. 640 yeah. mil is kind of a classical guitar scale length. Scale length. Yes. Yeah. And uh, the the Tomo has 650, 650, so that's two point something mil longer yeah. than Fender. You won't feel a difference quite from playing it, yeah? Okay. But here it's a little bit looser, you know? Yes. It uh, is easier uh, to bend, to play. Yeah. And yeah. a slightly punchier tone too. It has, the shorter it's a, a little bit uh, different in sound as well. Right, yeah. right. But then the whole guitar is also a little bit different. I chose Alda, mm -hmm. which is more like, you know, a vintage, uh, vintage guitar style, yeah. style. Yeah, they would choose Alda. And we have that here as well, okay. the European variant. Okay. And it's it's beautiful. You can choose for sure mm -hmm. something else, but this is like standard. Mm -hmm. Alda for the Okita, Ash for the Tomo. Okay. And then uh, you mentioned like really high-end hardware. Where do you get your hardware? Um, it's either ABM or uh, Schaller. They Schaller. produce the original uh, Floyd Rose and right. stuff like that. Yeah. Right. All and German they company. Have, yes. They have um, Hannes Bridge as well. If you Hannes. are into that, you know right. a lot of people, modern guitar players like that. Yes. And. Um, here it is this 3D6, it's kind of clamped together, so no right. vibration yeah. loss. Almost so like the, the old style badass bridge, did you know yeah. those? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, there are some, some uh, benefits coming from this, but it's not set in stone, you yeah. know? And ABM does different bridges as well, which are adjustable or stop tail pieces. Stop -tail piece. Specifically for the Okita, I have a version where you have a slight neck okay. angle. And you can use your uh, stop tail wrap around or stuff like that. Okay. Vintage tram, Vintage everything tram. is possible. Okay. Yeah. And the pickups? The pickups are from uh, a, I think, well known German mm -hmm. pickup winder, which is Heusel. 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 Yes. A yeah. lot of uh, high quality builders yeah. around the world use them. Very, very good. Yeah. yeah so why would good. I not choose them? Yeah, of course. <laughs> and it's local to you. <laughs> it's, it's local. Easy. And you can, you can get for sure different ones. We have yeah. great. Uh, German and European pickup okay. makers. Yes. You know, even if you yes. think bare knuckle the, from yeah, from so the whatever UK, whatever so. the preference is. Yes, I would rather not uh, put one from this major brands that uh, I need to ship right. in from uh, really overseas. Right. So I think the choices are um, uh, available readily. Yes. From this. And it gives a tone that is maybe more unique to you yes. as an artist. Yes. Not the. Ah, I also have a JB4 and it dictates most of the that uh, coming uh, sound coming from the guitar. So maybe I want something that is more personalized, uh, personalized and more uh, I can benefit from as an artist. Yes. I have to find my sound. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. The. Uh, Two and a half. Oh, two and a half. Two and a half. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Okita is also available, but let's make this quick. Uh, there are not many uh, differences except this is semi hollow. Ah, okay. Uh, as you see, as uh, seen it at, uh, at uh, Henning, like Henning's, Henning's place. Yeah, exactly. And then you can see the there's the. It's, a, it's not an F hole, but no, it's, no. You can uh, you can decide if you have, want to have this. You can decide which of these pattern pieces are left out. Okay. So even that can be designed. Okay. And uh, it is a uh, what I call a sound bowl because it is completely non-parallel. Okay. That way I can uh, work against uh, unwanted resonance peaks. Right. Because I have standing waves. If I just route it and it's parallel to the top, I have a standing wave. Standing wave. That yes. is a peak, a, a, a narrow peak in mm -hmm. frequency that I do not want at all. Okay. So this gives a broader resonance. Yeah. So to say. Uh, yeah? The, the waves are more dispersed. Yeah. This yeah. is. It's not a peak, but. Yeah. EQ-wise, it's a wider Q, so to say. Yes, yeah. Yes, so definitely. you have a rounder, rounder curve if, if there's a, uh, a strong um, impact. Right. Yeah? So that's the sound ball. You can okay. get that with a book match top as well with a special F-hole design. Mm -hmm. So if you really hate this top because you are getting uh, crazy from the geometric uh, yeah. top, you can get a book match top as well. I have okay. really nice selection of book match tops. Solid types. Yeah. yeah. The quality of the instrument will be the same mm -hmm. because that is what you will enjoy once you pick it up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. And the third model is currently released on this year's Guitar Summit, yes. which is the Sumo. The Sumo. Sumo. 
And I call it Sumo 7 because it is the 7 string. 7 string. Yeah. yeah. There might be somebody who wants to have it a uh, 6 string. Mm -hmm. So it is a different body shape than yeah. the Tomo, but still a double cut, but a little bit offset. Yeah. So and it, it's almost like a, a marriage of the Tomo and the Okita. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And uh, I try to make it look not too much 7 string. Mm -hmm. So I try to design the body so the uh, wider neck is not too heavy on the overall design mm -hmm. and the headstock is not that much larger than my original headstock. Right, right, right. Yeah, which leads to a strange uh, setup of 2.5. Okay. And I would use a string tree to get the, um, uh, the tension, angle, tension. Uh, on, the, on the strings. I worked hard to make it not that seven stringy, so okay. to say. Because I sometimes find it stupid if somebody just slaps a seven string guitar neck on your regular design mm -hmm. and it looks out of place. They even enlarge the headstock and stuff like that right. too much so that it looks not as a really nice design package yes, anymore. Yes, yes. It's just not, a, not cohesive. Yeah, yeah, I do seven string, just slap a seven string neck on and that's it, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, the bodywood is uh, ash again. Okay. They need it for the, for the rigidity. It's mm -hmm. again slim, mm -hmm. slim uh, body. And I always have a um, really nice and rounded over uh, heel mm -hmm. for the uh, neck uh, body. Upper, upper fret access. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's it's really great. Even even here you can yeah. go higher if you want. Yeah, and um, yeah, for for me personally, it's uh, nice to also have this neck. Even though it's seven string, it doesn't feel that wide yeah. because of how I treat uh, the fretboard edge and stuff like that. And the yeah. profile is rather flat. We have multi-laminate uh, neck here mm -hmm. for uh, the wideness I need and uh, the rigidity. Yes. Yeah. Now the string spacing for the seven string, is it similar to the six or is it slightly narrower? Exactly. It's um, the same. So I just add one string and mm -hmm. the difference of the string. So the regular nut width is 42 mm -hmm. um, mil, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah uh, which is kind of what you know from a Floyd Rose uh, right. guitar, yes. because I like that. Yeah, <laughs> yes. the the feel of the Floyd Rose neck uh -huh. and nut width, and here I just uh, extended it to 48, okay. 48 mil, 48. Okay. which so is plus six. A, yeah, which is a the the narrower seven string spacing, so okay. to say. Yeah, okay. There are some, are some available that are wider. Yeah. yeah. And speaking of Floyd Rose, I was really excited when I saw the teaser of this guitar on your Instagram. Yeah, it's like the 80s thread, 80s thread in, in one guitar. In one guitar, and, but with the uh, STS treatment, with exactly. the P90 in the neck and the humbucker in the bridge. And also, like a, is this a little different humbucker from what you normally use? Um, it is a vintage plus El Nico. Okay. So that is, uh, I, I don't normally go for the highest output. Mm -hmm. I go like, you know, like Vintage Plus, the name yeah. says it. So, yeah. 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 So, and a P90, the standard P90 from Häusler, okay. which is like uh, his most sold uh, P90. Okay. Yeah. Well, speaking of Instagram and, uh, and all sorts of fun social media stuff, where can we find you? Ah, it's uh, at uh, sts.guitars for okay. Instagram. Okay. It's um, uh, I am also on, on Facebook, but I think most people uh, are currently uh, on, on, on Instagram yeah. and YouTube. I have a channel. You can watch a nice video of uh, me explaining what I do mm -hmm. and uh, showing a little bit of pictures from the workshop and stuff. Just okay. nice. I composed and wrote the background music on all Okita guitars. So oh, maybe nice. that's what you should listen for. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. And um, yeah. And the uh, website. Website uh, sts-guitars.com. Okay, and I will have all the links in the video description as well. So, to make it easier for all you uh, lazy guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. One specialty for oh, okay. a Floyd Rose guitar. Turn it around. Yes. Yes. Isn't, oh, isn't yeah, that yeah, beautiful? Yeah, we, we have, isn't that beautiful? We have to talk about this. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Because Schaller, the manufacturer of the original Floyd Rose, does a product which is the Sure Claw which prevents you from having to use this stupid wood, yeah, wood clamp the, with two long wood screws bent, bent that have a, a Phillips uh, s screw head, mm -hmm. which you most likely screwed up at one point in time. Right. <laughs> yeah, And you reset the string tension because, ah, I want to change uh, uh, string, gauge, string, gauge. string gauges and stuff like that. Exactly. And so here you just insert a hex key and you have a really super small increment um, Variation. If you, yeah. yeah, you can adjust it Very perfectly fine. Very fine adjustments. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because with the wood screws, I normally there's, oh, yeah. there's no down, 
downside is you have to only use three springs, but as there are different springs available, like yes. hard, medium, yes. soft, so you, you can, can tailor it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and I leave it uncovered because I think it's beautiful. Yeah. I give my best that there's only nice stuff. Not okay. I, I, uh, it's cover an ugly it cow. It's an ugly thing, but there will be a cover over it anyway. Yeah, so yeah. that's why I think this is beautiful. It's only a rectangle. I hit all the other stuff. Yeah, away. This, this is possibly the the nicest uh, rear route of a Floyd Rose <laughs> I've ever seen. Thanks. <laughs> and you've seen more than one, which I've is. I've seen more than one. I, I have, I have, I've seen my share of Floyd Rose guitars, yeah. and this is by far the nicest. Yeah, I yeah. love it. Yeah, yeah, awesome. and that's the specialty about how I apply tremolos. That's with the short claw and with a nice route. Yes, and uh, the Schaller Floyd Rose is one of the best. <laughs> well, if not the best. It's the one yeah. you are also most used to. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, because some. Some of these just have the different brand. <laughs> yeah, they have but, just uh, released yeah. a new version okay. with, where you can vary um, oh, the, radius. the radiuses of the bridge and the nut even. They have different, ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that is, cool. that is quite cool if you want to play around with, with that. You can now do it on both ends and... Okay. Yeah. Well, Jonas, thank you so much for all the info. Thank yes. you. And again, all the links are in the video description. I am going to go play this guitar now. So enjoy the track. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay, so let's run through some quick sounds. This is my clean patch on the Moore Prime P1. Bridge pickup. Middle position. Finally, neck pickup. Dial in some crunch. Okay, let's try to shred it up. Now, because of the vintage nature of these pickups, there is no hiding behind gain. <laughs> so if you are a sloppy player or if you feel sloppy for a particular day, it will show it. And the P90 style neck pickup is also not common in this uh, style of, of guitar or you know, the super strat with the Floyd Rose. But it is a welcome addition. So it's thick enough that you can get away with humbucker type tones, but it's also still clear enough where it sounds like a very fat single coil neck pickup. Oh, <laughs> 
And the Floyd Rose is set up perfectly. There is no friction.